My name is Maximiliano and I'm here to give you a taste about Jumpstart. Jumpstart has been created by Artsa Technologies and it works completely integrated with Visual Studio as an extension. Moreover, Jumpstart is distributed as an extension package and it's available free for download in the Visual Studio Marketplace. Once Jumpstart is installed, it can be launched and the tool window shall be displayed. Before we begin with the demo, you should be asking why Jumpstart? So there are three major cases that can take benefit of Jumpstart. The first, if you need to create a brand new application from scratch, you can have a complete and functional application in less than five minutes. That's what I said, less than five minutes. As a result, the development team can start working on in the business code on the first day of the project. The second case, if you already has an application in production that it's up and running, however, it relies on old technology, Jumpstart can be used to migrate your application. It's going to reuse your existing database and then the business code should be moved from the legacy application to the new one. As a benefit from this migration, Jumpstart will provide a professional look appearance on the user interfaces with the new application. And the third scenario is for the mobile folks. So if you need a back-end solution for mobile development, Jumpstart is capable to provide data access for mobile application in just a few minutes through RESTful API. So the, the, back, end, the back end solution created through Jumpstart will create a domain model based on C Sharp code. So let's go back to Visual Studio. Let's start our demo. For this video, I will be creating a brand new application. I'm going to enter my application name. Then I have just entered the folder where my application will be saved on my hard drive. The default culture, it's already defined, defined and that's it. Now. I will hit the initialize button and the code generation will begin. As you can see on my solution explorer on the right side of the screen, Jumpstart has already created the solution with four projects. Jumpstart relies on entity framework, so the entity model wizard window is displayed in order to set up our entities. For this demo, I will be connecting on a database server in the cloud hosted on Azure. So I'm going to hit next. I'm going to create a new connection. So I have just entered my database connections. I will choose the database model that I will be using. For this example, I will choose AdventureWorks sample database. And then I will select the database objects that will be included in my application. So for this demo, I will choose all the tables from the sales schema 
and that's it we are good to go I'm going to hit the finish button and the code generation will proceed so the code generation is in progress and while jumpstart is retrieving the database information let's take a look on the design and architecture of our application proposed so the data domain is composed by a data data access layer a business layer and a service layer the data persistent project it's based on entity framework and will access a Azure database using the repository pattern. The business entity project contains our entities as POCO classes. In addition, the business project is responsible to take care of all business logic from the domain and it's based on C sharp partial classes. Within the services layer, the services interface is defined and implemented. Also, it is responsible for the data contracts. As you can see on the diagram, a WCF application will provide functionalities as services for the ASP MVC5 application. Furthermore, a, micro, a Microsoft Web application running as a DLL will provide data access to our mobile clients through a RESTful API. So let's proceed and complete our application set setup I'm going to choose enable I'm going to enable the WCF services I'm also will enable services in a DLL for the web API then I'm going to move to the user interface tab I will first connect uh, set up the web API application I'm going to choose services in a DLL then I'm going to set up the ASP MVC5 application. I'm going to choose the data model and the services will be WCF. That's it. I'm good to go and I will hit the generate button. So the code generation is done. Let's take a look on the solution created and uh, Jumpstart provides a Visual Studio compatible solution with several projects divided by responsibilities. Here we have our data domain projects. The solution is based on an ent entire architecture. It is services oriented and it's also based on a domain driven approach for complex need the generated solution can also have test projects for unit testing that will cover all domain projects so I'm going to be executing now all the tests just to verify if everything looks good okay all tests have passed and it's important to notice to note that the code generation it's standard C sharp code there is no proprietary code and it's based on industry standards and best practice so there is no black box that's it the code generation is complete so let's take a look on the demo applications that are already published 
I'm going here to check my customer page where I'm going to be displaying all the customers from my database table, my customers table on my, on my database. For this demo I'll be making uh, I'm going to uh, make uh, I'll make it more interesting I'm going to make a change I'm going to make a change here on my web API and I will make sure that it uh, rely and I can see what I have done on my web application so I'm going to be uh, I'm going to retrieve my customer where ID is equal to 6 here I have my JSON file that represents my customer record on the database then I'm going to make a small change I will uh, add a suffix called blah blah and I will commit ok I got a response code equals to 200 now I'm going to check my web application I'm going to refresh the browser I will enter here the number 6 for the ID I'm going to make a query and as you can see here the blah blah is being displayed by the web application so I made a change on the web API Swagger website and it's already been reflected on my web application so I will edit this record now and I will remove the suffix and then I'm going to save and I'm good so it has been removed and if I go back to my web API again just to make sure everything is fine I'll run the query again and the suffix is null so this is just a small example a sample that uh, use that relies on jumpstart so if you want to go ahead and check by yourself here you can find the URL for the three websites that are published so we have one website for the ASP.NET MVC5 application another website for the web API Swagger that can be used with uh, mobile applications in order to retrieve data and also we have another URL for the WCF application if you want to go ahead and try by yourself jumpstart you can go to Visit Studio Marketplace on this link and download a copy of Jumpstart and if you want to leave a comment if you have any questions or if you want to provide a few a feedback feel free to contact us at contact at artsatechnologies.com thanks a lot and see you guys on the next video